Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answer Man. All right, first one comes from Caleb. Caleb asks, how does extreme heat or cold influence the type of plastic you throw? No. See, I can't even ask the question right. Yeah. I already had it formulated in my head. You already had the answer? Yeah. How does extreme heat or cold influence the type of disc you throw? What tips would you give to beat the heat and ultra sweaty hands? Also, how does elevation influence the different type of discs you might throw? Thanks for your help and keep it real. Sweet. Lots of variables Lots he's asking of about. Well, so, I mean, uh, first oh, off. Oh, I thought I was answering your question. Oh, that's right. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, please. Please, Bobby. What would you say, Eric? No. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is technically. I think, if I remember correctly um, from past uh, episodes, mm -hmm. is that uh, if it's colder, it's more stable. So you want to keep that in mind when you choose which one you want to throw. Okay, I'm going to disagree with you off, I don't, the, off the top. I don't know that it's... Uh, go ahead. I, I've already screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know that it's more of a stable. I think you just don't throw as hard. Yeah. So therefore, it seems to fly a little bit more of a stable. See? Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> False. No, I, I, I don't think stability has much to do with, with weather. I think it has more to do with elevation, right? It has you everything can, to do with elevation. Yeah, you can tell an obvious difference throwing an escape where we are here in Kansas, and an escape in the Rocky Mountains. Right. Yeah. It's going it's to be... the Rockies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that John Denver. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. In, in elevation, things are going to fly considerably more overstable than they... At higher elevation than they will at lower elevation. Mm -hmm. So that's... Elevation, that's just what you have to remember. The higher up you are, the more stable what things are going to be. What about below sea level? Great question. Everything is a roller. It's crazy. Nice. Everything is a roller. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's strange. If you throw, if you roller? ever throw underwater, you, yep, that's exactly right. No, with the cold, I think the only disc changes that I make is that I won't throw as much of the classic hard plastic because they feel just a, a lot harder when it's yeah. cold. Um, I'll usually, if if it's cold mm -hmm. enough, I'll putt with blend wardens instead of classic hard wardens, and I certainly won't throw my classic hard wardens just for fear that they would break in, when they hit a tree. That hasn't happened to me personally, but I've seen people crack discs uh, on trees when they throw in the cold. I haven't seen too many people crack our discs. Yeah, agreed. To be honest. Agreed. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, that's now something that I'm scared mm -hmm. of yeah. because oh, yeah. I've because I've watched it happen. I've watched a. Uh, this was one of the saddest moments that I've seen in a while. Uh, I watched a, a one of the old CE rocks mm -hmm. from 2001. Oh, one. Worked in, flying beautifully, hit a tree and just shatter. Was it Jay Redding? It was. I cracked a cyclone in half once. Yeah. That was just from your power. That's though. taken out of context. Can you yeah. imagine if somebody was listening to the show and didn't know what... I, yeah, and what I just disc happened golf to was. Say, <laughs> I cracked a cyclone in half once. So what? I'm a storm chaser. Cool. That's what I do. 